last week against the University of Texas in their traditional rivalry game. The first time in head coach Gary Gibbs or quarterback Cale Gundy's tenure that they have beaten Texas. They have not yet beaten Colorado. Can they do it here today? Welcome back to Norman where the Sooners have won the toss. Darius Johnson to the right of your screen and P.J. Mills on the left-hand side back deep to receive for the Sooners. And the weather couldn't be better. High 70s, very little wind today. And what wind there is is a little at Berger's back. And he uses it to put it deep in the end zone where Darius Johnson elects wisely not to run it out. So Oklahoma with Cale Gundy at quarterback for the fourth straight year goes first and 10 from the 20. There are Gundy's numbers on the year so far. And with Watson Brown, the new offensive coordinator, the Sooners doing a lot of different things. Terry Collier, 33. It's the start, and Gundy right out of the shotgun gives an inside handoff to Collier, who bangs it out to the 24. Here are the big guys up front with Cavill, Roberson, Langston, Overton, and Stamps. Allen in the slot to the left. Collier, the lone setback. And Gundy's first pass will be sacked. And big number 56, the main man, Ron Wolfork. Chandler overall has probably done a better job than Collier blocking. Now the I formation with James Allen, the tailback. Play action. Gundy and wide open and complete is Albert Hall for the first down. Gundy looking to the sideline. Shrugging his shoulders, but it's first and 10 at their own 43. Allen in motion. Gundy on the option tries to cut it back. Colorado is waiting for him. Up with Clavel, Bruner, and Holland. The front three for the Buffaloes in the 3-4. The four linebackers are Wolfork, Rogers, Russell, and Johnson, the leading tackler. In the secondary, a little bit of a change as Dennis Collier is in there. And Dwayne Davis has been moved to strong safety from corner. Gain of two, second and eight. Oklahoma at their own 45. On a delay, Collier. Third and six from the 47. Gundy under some pressure, and he's sacked. Number 93, Darius Holland. Johnson, number nine for Colorado, and Scott Blanton, the junior from right here in Norman, with a good kick against the wind. Johnson at the 10. And a heck of a return under the circumstances. And here is Cordell Stewart. The junior from Louisiana and his 1993 numbers. Over 1,100, nearly 1,200 yards passing. Vermont Warren finding no room and trying to go the other way. He's going to be hauled down for a loss at the 15. Vermont Warren and Charles Johnson along with Michael Westbrook. The two leading receivers both in yardage, one in yardage and one in receptions for Colorado. And then the two tight ends that Ron talked about. Up front, Bertie Irwin, Stoltenberg, one of the leaders, Hammond and West. Second down and 12. Lamont Warren again, and this time he has a hole. First down and big yardage at midfield. Warren being chased and ridden out of bounds by Anderson near the Sooner 40-yard line. Lamont Warren again. This time hauled down by David Campbell. It's Ricky Wren, Joe Correa, and David Campbell, the front three for the Sooners. Beavers, DeQuazy, Freeman getting a start, and Coates, the leader at the linebacking position, with Johnson, Anderson, Bush, and Schenkel. They've played together for a while now. Second and eight. Cordell Stewart's first pass is well wide of Michael Westbrook. And the blitzer as effectively as they have in the past. Stewart on third and eight. Complete to Charles Johnson at the 24. CJ is... He'll probably have his choice at the end of the season. Lamont Warren and another good hole. Good tackle by Schenkel, however. Turned out to be just about as good as most people thought. Second down. Warren again, who's been doing the work, gets to the outside. Runs out of room. Number 19, Rashawn Salam, a sophomore out of San Diego in a tailback. First down and goal. Salam's first carry. And he bangs down to about the three, maybe the two. 
and Hill is at fullback in front of Rashawn Salam. Salam touchdown Colorado. A very impressive drive by the Buffaloes, Ron, as they take their first possession right down the field with Link. Duke Tobin, the holder, and they fake it. And they're not going to make it. Well, timeout on the field, 7.48 to go in the first quarter, and Colorado has taken a 6 to nothing lead. 83 yards in nine plays and lead it 6 to nothing. And again, Berger... Clear through the end zone this time. And up Collier and Allen, the running backs behind Gundy on first down from the 20. Play action. Gundy flips it to James Allen, who can't hold on at the 25. And Allen. Only about two yards is all. Third and eight. Oklahoma at their own 22. Lots of time, but nobody open. Now Gundy flips it. Collier. And Collier has a first down outside the 40 at the 42. Oklahoma first and 10. Gundy dancing away, but he won't go very far. He'll lose about a yard. It is second and 11. Quick pass out to Albert Hall in the flat. And Hall cannot make the man miss. Third down and a long five for Oklahoma. Tipped, but caught by James Allen, and he's very close to a first down. He can see more downfield than what he's supposed to see. They've got Brady out in the slot to the right again. Play action on first down. Going long. Jawan Penny incomplete and call your 22 is right there yeah that's pretty good play though pretty good coverage second and ten no, 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 no. Allen and not much running room third down and about seven Oklahoma at the Colorado 44 Gundy setting up a screen and it's dropped by Terry Collier around the 10 for the buffs and Blanton trying to hang it high and Hudson with a fair catch just inside the 15. Now they break that balanced formation and send two wideouts to the left. Rashawn Salam is the lone setback. First and 10 from the 15, and Salam has it. Good blocking on the corner. And Salam with a first down and then some outside the 30. First down at their 34. Salam again, a little mix up on the handoff, but. Second and eight. Complete to Charles Johnson, who's wide open. And Johnson may go all the way. He needs a block from Westbrook. But his speed is a Colorado touchdown. Is there any doubt, Steve, why he's a big play guy? That's CJ. Well, a fumbled snap, but a great job getting it down by Vance Joseph who is doing the holding, and now that Duke Tobin is injured, and Mitch Berger bangs it through. When we come back, Colorado up 13-0. And another boomer from Berger. That's good for three points. <laughs> Gerald Moore, number seven. Another fine freshman running back in for Oklahoma, who takes the play-action face. Gundy! complete to Corey Warren who somehow holds on at the 40. A major 15-yard infraction moves the ball into Colorado territory and let's listen to John Laurie. First down. On the option, Gundy cuts it up to about the 40 down to the 39 and always oh, Second down. Gerald Moore runs into a pile and is going to lose yardage. Great penetration. Gundy has time and he wants deep. And what a play. Uh, number seven, Dalton Simmons. Blanton to punt. Chris Hudson deep. And Hudson trying to fake out the Sooners, but it goes into the end zone. And Nebraska with a 10-point lead in the third over Kansas State. The two other unbeatens in the Big Eight. 
Play action, Cordell Stewart flipping it out and completing it to Charles Johnson, who has a first down. Slipping Darius Johnson. They move the ball against Miami's defense, and they're doing it here against a pretty good Sooner defense as well. Lamont Warren skipping away to pick up a couple more yards. Second down, six. Lamont Warren trying to get to the outside. Darius Johnson pulling off of a block. Second down, about 12. Lamont Warren trying to get away in the backfield, but Mike Coates won't let him. It'll be a big third down for Colorado as we come back. The end of the first quarter, however, shows the Buffaloes leading 13 to nothing. And I'd be used to it. Their gamesmanship. Cordell Stewart on third down is going to be stopped well short. Into that 10 to 15 mile an hour thing now. And not a good kick off the side of his foot. Coming to the near sideline. And it's going to be a very short punt. Now a senior. But Oklahoma with excellent field position at their own 44. Gerald Moore trying to cut back. And running hard, and he can run hard at 5'10 and 230. From Stewart to Johnson to lead 13 to nothing. Gundy trying to run the option again, cutting it back, and maybe has a first down. He should. First and 10 Sooners near the 45 of Colorado. Chandler in at fullback. Gundy optioning the other way. A yard is all to the 45. And Gundy will go from the shotgun on second and 10. Over the middle, incomplete intended for Ricky Brady. Contact made. Colorado leading Oklahoma 13 to nothing, and the Sooners third and 10. Gundy over the middle again, incomplete intended for P.J. Mills, and almost intercepted. Got more than speed also. <laughs> they got about everything else. I told you they're an NFL team. Blanton's punt, and Hudson looking to fake the fair catch. Oklahoma kicks it around, and it goes into the end zone for the touchback. Big play offense of Colorado has been making big plays today, more so than usual on a percentage basis. Rashawn Salam, the lone setback, first and 10 from the 20. Salam, no hole. Second down, Salam trying to turn the corner. Brent DeQuazy, third down and two. Salam again, again, getting around the corner, has the first down. William Shankle can't bring him down. But finally, he gets some help from his friends, including Joe Correa. So it's a good thing that he's as big as he is, because he's usually getting double teamed. Cordell Stewart under pressure from the blitz, gets it away, and Westbrook makes the reception. Second down, two after the gain of eight. Salam with a good hole and a first down out to midfield. It's for Colorado and picked up 51 yards. Lamont Warren over 60 yards. He did. Now it's first and five at the Oklahoma 44. Salam hammered as he tried to get gain of one. It's second and four. Salam again. Breaks one tackle as Korea couldn't haul him down. And Warren has it and has a hole. Shankle gets him around the ankle. Oklahoma has managed only 11. First down. Option. Lamont Warren looking pass. to pass. He slips and hangs it up high. Contact in the end zone. A flag. Touchdown is signaled as Charles Johnson made the catch. It's defensive interference against Oklahoma. It's a Colorado touchdown as Lamont Warren hits Charles Johnson on a 34-yard. And now they come back and they throw it. They've got everybody. He slips. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Talk about athletic ability. Now, the problem, Darius Johnson, he overruns the throw. He's got to try to come back. He grabs Jersey to come back. Well, they're going to have to get the teams over out of the way and ask some of the OU students to come out and clean up the oranges before we can have the extra point attack. An unsportsmanlike conduct is going to be charged to Oklahoma. Vance Joseph the holder, and it's good. 
We have 7.15 to go in the first half. Berger's been busy and so has the Buffalo offense. 20 to nothing Colorado over unbeaten Oklahoma. Hands people in there too. They're best hands people. They're going yep. for it. Onside kick. And it's dropped, but then I think recovered by Albert Hall. But of course, we're also, in, as in, was the case earlier, happy to know it wasn't a head or a neck injury. Gundy on first down has all day, but now has to run it. And scampers out of bounds near the 30. And they were basically in a four wide out looking. Look at this, the shotgun, Steve. On first down after the run of 15 by Gundy. And the inside handoff will net nothing to James Allen. I'd like to have been on that too. Play action. Gundy dumps it over the middle of James Allen. Allen slipping as he gets near the first down. Maybe that turf is still a little too wet. Third down and one, and Oklahoma trying to draw Colorado off. Yep, it worked. And on third and one, oh, certainly one of the highest recruited running backs last year in the nation. Right here in Oklahoma. Gundy over the middle, completing it to Ricky Brady, the tight end at midfield. Gain of seven, second and three. Option and Allen will go back the other way. First down, still going. Finally bumped out of bounds by Chris Hudson at the 26. Already this year, he had 100 yards, just over 100 against Texas last week. He has it again, but Colorado jamming up the middle. You saw offensive coordinator Watson Brown signaling in the plays as he does every time. Second down, about 10. Gundy again lots of time and again he flips it over the middle and again James Allen will be about two and a half yards short of nearing three minutes left to go in the first half Oklahoma moving trailing 20 to nothing third down along two and again the reverse option and Allen this time cannot get away and is stopped short of the first down by Dwayne Davis would have to say that the Sooners are not going to have a losing season this year they've done a fine job coming back under difficult circumstances now they're going to go for it on fourth and about a yard and a half Gundy cutting it up has the first down and they are tough when they get down here they get busy in the 20 first and 10 from the Colorado 17 Gundy from the shotgun he runs it again, but again, number 16 is looking right in his face. Second down, about 10 and a half to go now, and this is the 11th play of this drive. And Gundy is sacked under pressure from Matt Russell, who blitzed, now finds themselves third and 19 at the 26. Gundy, play action under pressure. Incomplete, it was intended for Corey Warren to attempt a 44-yard field goal on 4th and 19. He hits it well, and it is good. Oklahoma managed to salvage a score, at least, even though they couldn't get the touchdown. 1-11 left to go in the first half. Well, this is the kind of day it's been for Oklahoma. The Sooner Schooner hasn't had anything to come out and do on a score until now, and they turned that sucker over. I guess they're just trying to turn things around. Though. I hope everybody is all right. The ponies stayed upright, but the wagon took a big-time spill as they might have tried to take too tight a turn, and somebody, unfortunately, is down. The area where they were is very dry. It looks dry, but who's to say? There might still be some moisture underneath there, and, you know... Sooner Schooner's got a tight turning radius, but not that tight. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, that went down hard. Sure for Scott Blanton's kickoff. One minute, 11 seconds remaining in the half. And Kidd will not get a chance as Blanton. Lamont Warren alone setback. And Warren has it. Joe Correa got in front. No, it wasn't Joe Correa. It was 35 seconds remaining in the half. Second down, about 10 and a half to go. Warren again. This time he has a hole. And a first down. Up to about the 34. And then we will not have another play before the end of the first half. It has been Colorado that has come in here to Norman and taken charge in this Big 8 key showdown for the Orange Bowl. It may have a big, big bearing on who goes to Miami. And so far, Colorado has made their statement 
in a big way with three long drives of 80 or more yards. Yesterday, it was blown out of the south. So Blanton with that wind at his back, boots another one through. And they're moving the ball against what has been this year an excellent Sooner defense as well. Lamont Warren on first down, breaking tackles and getting nearly 10 yards. A 260-pound sophomore out of Sugarland, Texas, near Houston. Cordell Stewart breaks out free and hits his tight end, number 86, Christian Fourier. And Fourier, Colorado with their own 48. First down. Lamont Warren getting away from John Anderson, who closed down on the corner. Second down and four at the Oklahoma 46. Warren again slipping as he tried to turn the corner. Colorado is three of four on third down conversions. They've got one here, and Stewart makes it to Charles Johnson. It's a first down at the first down near the 35. Lamont Warren finds a hole and picks up about eight. Westbrook may not be catching many balls today, but he's been doing some serious blocking downfield. Warren, not much room this time, but he has enough for a first down. Mario Freeman has a sprained knee, we're told. He could return. Lamont Warren, another big gain inside the 15. A little preliminary movement along the line of scrimmage, and flags are down, and maybe can give them a first down. And it is. They're on an 80-yard march right now. Warren picking his way for another five inside the five. Second and goal at the five. Warren straight ahead down to the one. It is third and goal inside the one. Lamont Warren again. Did he make it? Nope. They're going to say he's down short of the goal line. Colorado, four of six going for it on fourth down. It's fourth and goal from the hand guard line. Lamont Warren, he won't make it, but a penalty flag is down. They're going to call a hold or a clip on Oates. Paul Oates with a fine play to fight through the block, holding against Colorado. And the Sooners have turned Colorado. The big tail back at 2.30 into the game. Play action, Gundy in his own end zone. He's got some room, and he's close to a first down. He has it. Play action again. Over the middle, complete to Albert Hall. Gain of 20. Hall has cut three for 51 yards. First down. Pitch in the reverse option again. Gerald Moore looking for a hole. Call down at about the 42. James Allen, 25, back in the game at tailback with Gerald Moore going out. Second down and four. Gundy from the shotgun and handing off on the inside to the fullback, Dwayne Chandler. Ohio State, Michigan also, or Michigan State, where they're also in the third. Gundy from the shotgun again. In and out of the hands of Corey Warren. Fourth down, 6.38 to go in the third, and Blanton. With the wind behind him, kicking to Charles Johnson. Johnson takes it and goes out of bounds at the 14. At their own 14. Lamont Warren picking his way for about five. Has not lost to Gary Gibbs since Gary Gibbs has been the head coach at Oklahoma, even though they tied last year. Lamont Warren again. He's already rushed for 135 yards today, and he picks up a couple of more. Well, they'll try to do it here. Third down, about a yard and a half to go, and Lamont Warren appears to be very close. Cordell Stewart hasn't thrown much, but he is six of seven passing, and he's going to throw again. And he completes it to Charles Johnson, who appears to have a first down. Ineligible receiver downfield. We had an illegal receiver downfield for Colorado. Stewart can run well, but he doesn't have any room. Tripped up son of Bobby, unbeaten. Auburn Tigers slash War Eagles having a heck of a year, and what a win for them. Lamont Warren breaks John Anderson's tackle, 
And he's close to a first down. Lamont Warren having a huge day. Picked up the first down at the 35. He's got it again, but it will gain only about a yard. The senior out of Colorado Springs. Stewart. Can't find anybody. Weaving his way out to about the 43. Knocked down by Malin Wesley. Yeah, and picks up nine yards. <laughs> Third down, about a yard and a half to go. Incomplete intended for Michael Westbrook. Everybody else up on the line. They're holding him up, trying to get a return for Johnson. From the 22, Johnson nowhere to run, as a lot of white shirts. Oklahoma needs a drive right here, first and 10, at their own 24, down 20 to 3. And on a delay to the fullback, Chandler. Lane Chandler with a huge run out to the 44. Dennis Collier. Well, Chandler just ripped off 20 yards out to the 44. First down for the Sooners. Gundy with time, and he completes it. P.J. Mills with Colorado Territory at the 38. Good protection. P.J. Mills again. He'll go all the way. Touchdown. P.J., a sophomore out of Enid, Oklahoma. Blanton with the extra point. The Sooners' first touchdown comes with 28 seconds remaining in the third quarter. It's 20 to 10, Colorado. It's a 10-point game with 28 seconds remaining in the third. And James Kidd is not getting much air time today. This is when you're most excited right here. Lamont Warren. Getting a block on Beavers. A penalty flag is down, however. But it looks like Darius Johnson, number 42. They're going to let it run out, and they do. It's 20 to 10. Colorado over Oklahoma will return with more action between the Buffs and the Sooners after this message and a word from our local ABC station. As we start the fourth quarter with the Buffs leading by 10, but the Sooners have the momentum. Did he make the catch? Apparently so. No, one official said yes, the other said no. If anybody could make this catch clean, Steve, this man right here could, and I don't know. I don't know, that looks like a catch to me. Colorado still at their own 10. Stewart on a quarterback draw. Picking his way for good yardage out to the 25. Colorado. Facing now third down and about five, four and a half. To be more precise, they need to get across the 30. Lamont Warren has the first down. First and 10 Colorado with their own 32. Stewart in and out of the hands of Charles Johnson. James Kidd, number two, is into the game at wideout, replacing Charles Johnson. Stewart has lots of time, and now he's going to run. First down. Finally dragged out of bounds on the far sideline by Malin Wesley. A very serious break, apparently, to the left ring finger of Charles Johnson. First and 10, Colorado. Lamont Warren, nowhere to go. Beavers is there. Blackboard <laughs> presentation beginning of the game. That's what you pointed out. Those two tight ends make it tough. Stewart Ooh. control, and James Kidd fell down. There's a big one right there where the line of scrimmage happens to be. On top of that, there's just no nap to it. Lamont Warren trying to cut back. He's hammered. Darius Johnson. Under 12 minutes to play. And Berger with another terrible kick off the side of his foot. But he gets a pretty good roll, however. It'll go out of the 19. But those that remain are now into it big time. As the Sooners go first and 10 from their own 19. Gundy going to run it. He's got some room. He has a block. Out to the 47, and he may be shaken up. Sam Rogers. Watch what happens to Gundy's head as he hits the ground. 
Rodgers, the defensive lineman, pins his right arm, no support. Blam. And that turf is so hard. It's so hard down there. And apparently, Cale Gundy has suffered a head injury. With Oklahoma having a first down at their own 47. 11 and a half minutes remaining. And the Sooners down by 10. James Allen on that reverse option. But Wolfolk won't have any of it. We have a penalty flag down, however. Holding preliminary report on Cale Gundy. He's being airlifted by helicopter to a hospital for precautionary x-rays. He has a concussion, but he was conscious as they took him off the field. So all of that is good news, considering what could have happened. Almost picked off by Sam Rogers. Good protection for Brown. Tipped and incomplete. Albert Hall tried to come back and get it. Colorado. Very high, very short kick. And it's exacerbated by the fact that it's into the wind and it goes out of bounds. A action including Fresno State and BYU next Saturday here on ABC. Hard running on first down. Charles Johnson is back in the game for Colorado, and that certainly is a good sign. Cordell Stewart with a good fake and play action. Incomplete intended for Christian Fourier. Ten minutes to go in the game. Colorado with a ten-point lead. Third down and five. Hill, first down. Still running, and Beavers finally knocks him down at the 40 of Oklahoma. Colorado first down, Oklahoma 40. Lamont Warren, good hole. Excellent downfield blocking by Michael Westbrook. Lamont Warren could get a 200-yard day rushing. He's up to about 180 now. And he's going nowhere this time. Ricky Wren. No gain. Second and 10 under pressure. Stewart gets it away, complete to Westbrook. Boy, did you see the way Stewart backpedaled away from his very poised and very confident to see? Lamont Morin out of the I formation, going nowhere. Lamont Morin with 179 yards rushing. Hill. James Hill down to the 14. Second down, six. James Hill again, and John Anderson can't bring him down. Colorado on a relentless drive on the ground. Lamont Warren close to a first down, and it's going to be close. Less than six minutes to play, goes for it on fourth and one. The ball inside the Oklahoma 10. Can't try a hard count. They're trying it. Cordell Stewart diving forward. No flags on the play, even the same, really, for both teams, and that's bad news for Oklahoma. But what balance shown again by Colorado? Inside the five to about the four with pretty good effectiveness at all times. They've gone over 300 yards rushing about against what had been a very good defense. James Hill, did he make it in? Yes, touchdown, Colorado. As Colorado may have just put it away, it's 27 to 10. Bill McCartley's Buffaloes are going to do it again, apparently. At four minutes, 35 seconds left in the game. P.J. E. Mills and Darius Johnson, as usual, are back. And then a chance yet in this game and they will not have a chance here again first and ten terrence brown out of the shotgun completes it to ricky brady brady with a first down and manages to get out of bounds they are x-raying him for precautionary measures brown completes it to brady again brady trying to get some yardage but also wants to get out of bounds and does and the games tonight Brown incomplete, intended for James Allen. 
Oklahoma looked a little flat in the first half, and it's that week after Texas again. Brown dropped by big number 90, Sam Rogers, coming on the blitz. They've done a tremendous job here at Oklahoma getting this program back on track under very difficult circumstances. Chris Hudson breaks by the first defender. He has a wall. Brown's going to get him bumped out of bounds inside the 10. Well, Colorado's had a few big plays today, and there was another one. First and 10. James Hill. Beavers grabs a hold. And we haven't had an inordinate number of penalties today either. But Colorado has controlled the game. James Hill again trying to cut back, slipping, and banging down to about the three. James Hill banging to that goal line again. And is he in? We haven't seen a signal. I don't think so. First down and goal inside the one. Colorado just trying to put a little exclamation point on it, but Hill's not going to go anywhere. Fine penetration. It's a problem. I'll tell you what, it's worked for Colorado today. All right from their opening possession, they've been able to move the ball and move it well. James Hill again. He will not get outside. John Anderson will let the clock run out, and that will do it. Colorado does it to Oklahoma again. Bill McCartney has now become the winningest coach in Colorado history with his 78th victory. His big eight record over the last five years, 26, one, and two. Colorado and Nebraska, the only undefeated teams remaining in big eight conference play.